Welcome to A Shot of Wildlife. In today's video, I'm going to tell you almost everything you need to know about the goldfinch. Among the many colourful birds of the UK, in my opinion, the goldfinch has to be up there as one of the most beautiful. These small birds have a wingspan of 21 to 25 centimetres and grow to between 14 and 19 grams in weight. But what goldfinches lack in size, they make up for in colour and personality. Adult birds have red, white and black heads, with cream and white undersides and cream backs. Their wings are mostly black with white spots towards the tips and one of their defining features is a patch of bright gold feathers which becomes a bar when they are in flight. Males usually have more and deeper red markings and longer beaks but this isn't always easy to tell from a distance. Goldfinches are social birds, often roaming from place to place in small flocks, sometimes mixed with other species. A flock of goldfinches is known as a charm, although this has nothing to do with how charming they are. It originates from the old English word serm, which describes the bird's twittering song, which I'll share with you later in this video. Their habitat is traditionally farmland and open countryside, but they are becoming increasingly common in urban areas, including along roadsides, in parks and in overgrown wasteland, and they can become regular visitors to garden bird feeders. Their diet is mostly made up of seeds, particularly thistles and teasels, but they'll also take sunflower seeds and niger seeds from bird feeders. When they are rearing chicks, they do sometimes eat insects and invertebrates. Goldfinches in the UK start to breed later in the year than a lot of other species, probably due to their reliance on seeds. This begins around the beginning of May when a pair will form and begin to construct a cup-shaped nest of grass, lichen, roots and moss lined with wool and hair, or sometimes a man-made alternative. These nests are usually more than 2 metres from the ground, among dense vegetation and in a loose colony with other pairs of goldfinches. Once the nest is complete, the female will lay between 4 and 6 pale eggs with sparse brown splotching. These eggs measure around 17mm in length and once the clutch is complete, the female will incubate them alone for 12 to 13 days. During this time, the male will regularly visit and feed her. At first when the chicks hatch, they are featherless and pink. Both parents bring a constant supply of food to them in the nest and as a result they grow rapidly. By just 13 to 18 days of age, they are almost the same size as their parents and they are ready to fledge the nest. The parents, especially the father, continues to feed the young for several weeks after they leave the nest when they join larger charms and learn how to fend for themselves. Young goldfinches do not have the bright head markings of their parents and they don't get these until their first molt. In a single year, each pair of goldfinches can nest two or three times, sometimes rearing young way into September. They'll only remain monogamous for one season, usually finding a new mate every year. Goldfinches are found across the whole of the UK except for some upland parts of Scotland and they are also found across mainland Europe, North Africa, West and Central Asia. They are an introduced species in Australia, New Zealand and Uruguay. Around 1.7 million pairs currently breed in the UK each year, which represents an increase of more than 100% since the 1970s and their numbers are still thought to be increasing. Some goldfinches in their northern range in Europe and in the UK do migrate south for the winter, heading towards Spain and the Mediterranean, while some also stick around for the colder months. They have an average lifespan of two years, but as usual with wild birds, the oldest known individual lived much longer, to 10 years and 2 days of age. This was a bird that was ringed in a nest as a chick and then found when it died in 2016. Goldfinches are famed for their beautiful song, and here is an example of it. Mm -hmm. 
Well, there we go. If you enjoyed this video or you learned something new, you'll probably also like this video here about the European Robin. And if you like that, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.